I'm going to discuss my solution to today's uh, you know premium problem in October leaf coating challenge. And uh, today's premium problem is uh, maximum distance in arrays. There is a regular uh, challenge also for today. We, there is already a video uploaded. Please watch it. I am Chennabung Kapoor. I am a trainer at GoMaster.in. So today's premium problem goes this way: maximum distance in arrays. Uh, so the, the problem has uh, m arrays given and all of them are in ascending order sorted in ascending order we need to pick pick up two integers from two different arrays and each of them should be from different array and calculate the distance so the distance is uh, just in a difference between uh, those two numbers what we have picked and we need to maximize it right so that's the problem it sounds a little complicated but it's not it's not that much so we have like an you know, M sorted arrays, uh, and uh, so we need to find you know the, the maximum possible difference like this. So uh, the the only numbers that are going to be involved in in, in our uh, computation are going to be the max and min of each of the arrays, right? So uh, if you find the max of all the arrays put together and then take the max of those results, it's like max of max maxes. That's going to be my max here. And uh, similarly, min of mints, right? The min of all the minimum numbers of each array is going to be min of mints. And this difference is going to be the maximum possible difference, right? And it looks like this is going to be the answer. <clears throat> yeah, the, the only situation where this is not the answer is if both of these max and min come from the same array because they need to come from different arrays, we have an issue, right? So uh, we can actually modify the solution a little bit instead of finding only max and min, what if we find max one, max two, and min one, min two, right? So max one is greater than or equal to max two, and min one is lesser than or equal to uh, min two, right? So that way, if both of these max, uh, max one, max one array and min one array, the array they come from, if they are different, then this is the answer, just like uh, uh, earlier times. But if they are same, then the answer has to be one of these two possibilities, which is max one minus min two or max two minus min one, right? So that's all we need to do. Uh, so it's not too complicated, but we are gonna have you know, many variables involved here because we need to find each of these four elements, max one, max two, min one, min two. And along with that, we need to remember which arrays they come from. <clears throat> So that's why we need kind of you know, eight variables involved here. So uh, because it's a little lengthy to code and uh, there is not much uh, new thing to figure out here, I have already coded and I'm just gonna show that to you. So there is min one and the array it comes from is min one array and min two and uh, array it comes from is min two array and min one is lesser than or equal to min two. And similarly, max one that comes from uh, max one array and max two comes from max two array. All right. So again, max one is greater than or equal to max two. All right. So what we need to do here, uh, because if you look at the look at some notes in the in the question, they say every array has at least one element. So that that is a relief because uh, max and min are are going to be a little meaningless if the array does not have any elements or we should have skipped it but uh, this is easier now there is one element and there are at least two non empty arrays that's also a relief because we can uh, we can find max min 1 min 2 from two different arrays right if they are same arrays it's not going to add any more any value it's going to be complicated so having two uh, at least two arrays is is a relief right and if you see there, uh, all the elements which are in between max and min within an array are going to be useless to us. We don't even we don't even touch them, right? So uh, we are only looking at the min of each array and max of each array, all right? So how do we find the first? How do we uh, bootstrap what is min one, min two, and max one, max two kind of thing? Is essentially here. So in this one, I'm I'm finding min one, min two. So look at the first array. First array is zero index here and second array is one index here. And the another zero is within the array, which is the min, uh, which is at not zero place. If min of the first array is lesser than the min of the second array, so min one is gonna be from the first array, right? I also remember that array and min two is gonna be from the second array. Otherwise, min one is from the second array and then min two is from the first array, right? 
so the same idea is uh, is used to find max one and max two also so which is covered here so the only difference is uh, the max is present at the last position of the array so this is that position right i i find the size of that array and minus one is going to be the the index of that last element which is the max element of that array so again if the first array's max element is greater than or equal to the second array's max then i'm going to remember max one as the uh, last the max element of the first array and max one array is going to be the first array itself similarly max two uh, is going to be the second array uh, in this case in the else case it is just vice versa right max one is from the first uh, second array and max two is from this first array now i'm going to run through this loop of uh, remaining arrays i'm going to start from the third array which is at index 2 and go all the way to uh, to m number of arrays so at every time ith array i'm going to see whether uh, if that is lesser than min 2 uh, the, the min of that array is if it is lesser than min 2 uh, then uh, this element has to be considered and if it is even lesser than min 1 then this is going to be min 1 but uh, the current min 1 is going to become min 2 this is what I've made this arrangement, and then min one is going to be the current uh, element, right? So if if not, if it is not lesser than min one, but only lesser than min two, then then we have a new min two, but min one is not going to change, right? So the same thing happens with max also, right? If it is greater than max uh, two, then this element needs to be considered. The max of this array needs to be considered. If it is even greater than max one, then this is going to be new max one. But before that, max two needs to be uh, an updated by uh, updated, right? So which is the older max one, and we are going to update max. Otherwise, we only update max two. Now look at the last three lines. Uh, if max one array and min one array, uh, sorry, max one array and min one array are different, then max one minus min one is the answer, right? This was the simpler case. But if they are same. Uh, then we have an issue. So we have two different possibilities. Either it is max one minus min two or min max two minus min one. Whichever is greater, I'm gonna I'm gonna return that, right? So that is uh, it's gonna work, right? Let me submit once here. Uh, yeah. So it worked. If you see the time complexity of or actually the time it took, it is pretty fast. As in the last and it showed hundred percentile. So it is pretty fast. All right. So, and if you want, uh, it doesn't matter size of each of our array. All it matters is there are m arrays, and we only look at the max and min of each of them, which are accessible in constant time, and we only go through each of them once. So it's going to be big O of m time, right? So this works. That's why this works pretty fast, and this is the lower bound for this problem. All right. If you, um, yeah. Questions, please let me know in the comments. Uh, any suggestions, comments are also uh, always welcome. Um, happy coding. Thank you for watching.